The U.S. Institute for the Study of War, ISW, has stated that the advance of Russian troops in the Pokrovsk direction is facilitated by the terrain and lack of personnel in the Ukrainian army. This is stated in a report on the ISW website. Russian forces continue to make slow, steady advances in the Pokrovsk direction, largely enabled by Ukrainian manpower shortages and the terrain in the area immediately northwest of Avdiivka, the report says. At the same time, analysts note that the Russian advance is likely to slow down in the future. Russia's current rate of tactical advance towards Pokrovsk will likely not continue indefinitely, However, as Russian forces are approaching a line of larger and more urban settlements, current Russian efforts in the Pokrovsk direction are concentrated on achieving a tactical breakthrough near Zelany and Novorodivka. The next defensible line between the current forward Russian line of defense and Pokrovsk runs between the towns of Selidov, Novorodivka, and Hradivka, which many of the current Russian tactical advances focused specifically on the Novorodivka Rodivka sector of the line, the researchers report. The ISW also cites the opinion of military observer Kostyantin Mashovets, who warned that Russian troops are close to achieving an operationally significant breakthrough in the Pokrovsk sector by the end of August. The ISW explains the lack of forces to deter the Russian troops by the fact that the units are insufficiently manned and equipped. For example, President Volodymyr Zelensky noted that some Ukrainian brigades cannot rotate because the units that are supposed to replace them are not yet manned and equipped. This creates weaknesses that can be exploited by Russian troops for an offensive. Kostyantin Mashovets noted that Ukrainian defenders in the Pokrovsk direction have inferior equipment and defensive means and are therefore currently unable to slow Russian advances. Delays in the provision of Western and especially U.S. military assistance have contributed to delays in equipping newly raised Ukrainian units and re-equipping those that have been fighting. Летит войны, разбитая техника, не доехала. Еще поленно пахнет. ПМП догорает, наверное, сутки будет ядро. Дымится еще. Вот остров машины. Ну вот это то, что осталось от бензолебедки, сгорело. Это, по-моему, были дымы, ДМ-11, загоревшие. Тут все еще горит. Вот это, не знаю, свежая унка от или она была тут. Да, вот, это вся наша еда, которая сгорела.